Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I greet you with the best greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Also, the land of Shifan Rajin, Bismillah Rahman Rahim, Alhamdulillah in the land. Rahman Rahim, Maliki Omidin, Yakan of the way of Hanafain, Legion of the Mosekin, Seraphon Lazina Ram Salim, Yaz Mokudelin, Wallet Dolin, Amen. Wakulja Haka was Wakalabata, Inna Labata, Kalna Zoka, so be sure I put in. ويغفر الله حمد وقال له خذ دسر من لساني يركب قوله قل هو الله أحد الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد آمين. My topic today is the best example. As simple as that, the best example. We wonder what the best example, best example of what? Well. Um, the um, behavior, what you do, you know, if you want to be the best um, example, if you want people to, um, if you want um, Allah to analyze Allah to accept you, if you want to, um, if you want Allah to analyze Allah to accept you as one of the friends, as one of the one of the good servants of um, Allah to analyze Allah, you know, these are the character in it. That's, um, the first one is <coughs> you worship Allah alone. You worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. After believing, you worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. My brothers and sisters, praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, as said by our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the um, easy word to say that has weight, you know, in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa ta'ala, subhanahu wa You know, praising Allah, you know, in different ways. You can say la ilaha illallah wa da la sharika la la umri kuwa la alhamdu wa wa la kuli shayin kudir. That is good as well. Then the next um stage is repentance. Repentance, true repentance. You know, because we have um so many ways you can repent. You can um just say astaghfirullah like, when you know you're still going back to the sin. You know, you can just say astaghfirullah. Like, you can just oh, just God forgive me. Which really you don't really understand um the sin you have committed. You don't really understand how you you got yourself into it you don't know how to get out of it you don't really understand what you're into but you're saying god forgive me god forgive me astagafrullah astagafrullah my brothers and sisters we need to understand this um repentance is a big topic on its own you know which really a lot of people don't understand we get confused in repentance and Allah one like Allah said it in the Quran that true repentance it's only accepted by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The only repentance accepted is true repentance. Um, then the next one is searching for act of worship. You know, you have to search for the best act of worship. What Allah what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loves, you know, you have to search for this. And how do you know this? It's by um, you know, finding out about the life of um, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, trying to know how he lived his life, trying to um, find out how he lived his life, what he does and all that. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. His life is well lived. You know, if you try, you know, even, um, I know nobody can do all, you know, at least try to do a little, you know, some of it, you know, will make you one of the best examples. Then the next one is um, Ibadah, an act of Ibadah. My brother and sisters, not um, just um, Ibadahs and salat and all that. You know, a lot of people think here yeah, salat is part of ibadah and all that. Salat is worship. That is compulsory. We have to do it. It's compulsory. But ibadah is something extra that you pick in doing. You know, it could be istighfar. It could be um, alhamdulillah. In fact, Allah Subhanahu wa Taala loves the people that give um, that um, that give thanks. You know, alhamdulillah is good as well. You can choose that as your own act of ibadah. You can choose um. Um, to be doing a nafila in the middle of the night, you know, waking up in the middle of the night and reciting the Quran or doing maybe two raka or three raka or four raka, you know, the brothers and sisters, this is an act of ibadah. Then the next one is charity, giving out. You don't say you don't have much, you don't say you don't have a lot of money, even if it's 20p, even if it's any anything you have, no, no amount is too small, my brothers and sisters, nothing is too small, you just, uh, just say little. The charity, you can, if you don't have money, you can you, you do your old clothes, you know, giving it out to people that you know that they really need it. <coughs> you know, 
we've got some parts of um hearts of um ibadah then the next one is um, um like charity i mean then love for others what you love for yourself you know as in love for others what you love for yourself you know if you um if you love you know to be righteous you know it's part of loving for others what you love for yourself obviously you love to be righteous you know if you love to be righteous then you help others you know to be righteous as well how do you help others it's by teaching what you learn to others it's by teaching you know if you recite the quran now and you found out some um, something new that you haven't seen which happens most of the time learn even every day if you open the quran you see new 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 things all year round you keep seeing new 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 quran is new day by day it's new 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 so if you find out a new thing you know by sharing with friends discussing it with family discussing it with friends husband wife you know it's part of um loving for others what you love for yourself a lot of people might think oh it's not only worldly things that we will say okay because i want a car for myself then i want a car for my no let us not be greedy with um with paradise you know you if you want to be righteous obviously you're working towards um if you are righteous obviously you're working towards paradise if you train yourself to be good anybody can be bad you know if you train yourself to be good that means you're working towards good you're working towards righteousness and if you're working towards righteousness then if you if Allah 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 help you to become a righteous person then that means you're working towards paradise you know because paradise is meant for the good people and if you're righteous then that means you're working towards paradise I can't say you're among the people of paradise but you're working towards paradise you know so it's part of love loving for others what you love for yourself you know if you see something new or some act of ibadah that is good or some prayer that is good you know share it with friends share with share it with other people even if it's some word of the prophet you know things like that sharing with people is um part of loving for others what you love for yourself not only money or cars or beautiful things you know this is um, loving for others what you love for yourself as well and um our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam passed on Monday and Thursday. You know, this is part of loving for others what you love for yourself. Some people don't know this, but if you know it, you tell your friends. You know, telling friends and all that, sharing the message of God, um, sharing the spreading the message of God, spreading the message of um, our beloved prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is part of loving for others what you love for yourself. Then forgive others. You know, forgive others. No matter what um, people do to you, you know, because um, people do a lot, a lot of things happen for some certain reason, best known to them or best known to Allah, to analyze Allah. Let me say, best known to Allah, to analyze Allah. If anybody is doing anything that you think, you know, that you don't like, you got angry, if you can talk to this person, person you talk to them. If you can't, you know, a brother and sister, you just leave them and forgive them, you know, leave them to themselves. If it's not, you know, something of harmful to you, you know. If it's not going to harm you in any way, you know, just um, leave them to that and um, try to forgive, you know, at least every day of the night, whatever has happened, maybe at work, on the road, you know, anyway, try and forgive people and forget what has happened and, um, you know, show mercy to people because um, it's said by our uh, beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala will only be merciful to those who are merciful to others. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will only be merciful to those who are merciful to others. You know, um, if you are merciful, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be merciful to you. If you forgive people, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will forgive you. If you love others, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will love you. You know, so these are the qualities, you know, my brothers and sisters, these are the qualities of the best um, example. The people that we can say, oh, these are the best examples. The people you say, oh, I want my daughter to be like them. I want my wife to be like them. I want my husband to be like them. I want my mother to be like them. I want my children to be like them. These are the best examples. Let me go through it again. Number one is worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone. You know. Then number two is praising Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala day and night. Number three is repentance. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asks for forgiveness more than 75 times. A day, not just astagafrullah, astagafrullah, as in sitting, you know, concentrating and asking for God's forgiveness. 
more than 75 times in uh, Adith, I think Sahih Buhari, you know, check Sahih Buhari. Then searching for acts of worship. You search for more things you can do to please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Things that you can do, like you search for, you try to know more things you can do to please your wife, to please your husband, you know. Try search for more things to please our beloved, um, to please um, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If you go into the character of our beloved Prophet Muhammad, because he is the best example, number one best example, <laughs> you know, for Muslims, you know, you check, um, it's our role model, you check, um, what he does, his daily activities, things like that, speak from it. You cannot get the whole of it. Nobody can get the whole of it because Allah has created Prophet Muhammad like that. It's not that he tries to be like that. Allah created him that way. That's how he's created. So if you want to pick some of it, you can pick some of it. Two, three, four, five, six, you know, ten, you know, out of his um, character. This will help you, you know. Then um, charity. Do not wait till you're a millionaire. Do not wait till you are, you know, you have loads of money. You can start where you are at the moment, where you are at present, you know, that you can start from there. Then the next one is love for others, what you love for yourself. You know, you love for others, what you love for yourself. You know, wish for others, what you wish for yourself. That is very, very important. This is what makes you um, one of the best examples. Then, um, Forgive others, show mercy to others so that you can get mercy from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My brothers and sisters, this is all I have for you today. Um, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept um, this as an act of ibadah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, help me correct all my mistakes and help me to be able to do more. Inshallah. I thank you very much for listening. I thank you very much for watching all my videos. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. May Allah be pleased with you. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Till me, your sister, Jamia, I was in the name of Sheikh Sayyid Al Wajud, Rodi Allah Salani. Watch out for more videos. Salam. Peace be